Welcome to the third Orca Torch review. I'm reviewing the Orca Torch D700, a 1700 lumens aluminium dive torch. It has a tight 6 degree beam angle and is operated with a twist on off mechanism. Waterproof to 150 meters, powered by a 21700 lithium battery. Let's look at what's in the kit. First of all, this torch comes in a very nice case. There's a USB-C charging cable, a lanyard, and the D700 torch itself. A set of three replacement O-rings, and a warranty card, as well as a user manual, both in English and Chinese. The torch is a good size. It's not too big, nor too small. Unscrew the torch to reveal the 21700 lithium battery. Discard the insulating paper. Notice the USB-C charge port. The 21700 battery is long. If you have a standard 18650 battery charger, it may not fit. Plug the USB-C cable into the 21700 battery and the other end into a computer or phone charger. There's an LED that indicates when the battery is fully charged. There's ample length in the lanyard supplied, so you can trim it back to suit your requirements. The case can still be used when you've got a lanyard or a bolt snap attached. I like the case a lot. Let's look at the light output from this torch. There's a pretty constant drop off in light intensity over time. If you look at using the torch within 25% of its initial brightness, you'd get 50 minutes and over an hour and a half of it still outputting 50% of its initial brightness. But you could easily use this torch over two 45 minute dives. Looking at the battery performance, the voltage draw is pretty constant and so too the amps drawn. There's a fair draw of amps at the start. Now to do a comparison. I must declare that I have a great love for the Dive Ride BX2 torch. This is my primary and favourite torch. The BX2 uses a 3500 mAh 18650 lithium battery, while the D700 uses a 5000 mAh 21700 lithium battery. Let's compare the light output. You can see that the BX2 has a more sustained, brighter output. And you can see the D700 outperforms its little brother, the D580. Comparing battery performance, volts drawn on all three torches are very similar. The big difference is in the amps drawn by the D700. The BX2 seems to be a more efficient design. How does the torch perform underwater? I'm 10 metres down in broad daylight, However, you can easily see the light from the D700. Here we see some green lip abalone. The light penetrates the recesses easily and illuminates critters hiding in the dark. Now I'm using both the D700 on the right and the BX2 on the left. The intensity of the spots on the sand are very similar. In real life, both these torches seem very similar to me. The D700 on the right looks a little brighter on the GoPro, but I think that's just backscatter as the GoPro is actually mounted on the D700. So if they look similar underwater, what is my conclusion? We should look at what you get with each torch. The Dive Ride BX2 comes with a battery charger cradle, but no case. The Orca Torch D700 comes with this beautiful case and while it doesn't come with a charging cradle, the battery can be charged directly. Okay, so let's look at price. The D700 is $119.95 US dollars delivered and the BX2 is $109 US dollars plus delivery. So depending where you are, you may be able to get a local store pickup. So on every count, I would have to say that these two torches are extremely similar. Both of these torches represent a good primary diving torch. Next up, I'm looking at the big daddy of dive torches, the D511. 